Hello everyone, my name is Mehek. I hope you guys are fine, safe, and like always, I also hope that you guys are reading. Um, back with the book of the week. It's called Gut. It's by Julia Enders. That's how it looks. Okay. Um, honestly, this was by far the the hardest book to finish this year so far. I had to like literally push myself to finish this book. Now the reason being. um i i i think i had altogether a different expectation uh from the book when i saw the book you know it says the inside story of our body's most underrated organ i was quite excited about it because um you know i read in the summary how you know our gut is linked to so many things you know our immune system our mental health our mood and our overall health and well-being so i thought it would be really interesting you know to go through the book and um know about what am i supposed to do you know healthy habits what i'm supposed to eat what i'm not supposed to eat uh basically i was looking for a more how to help practical guide unfortunately it wasn't that the author did mention certain um tips in the passing by but nothing in the detail um why it was very difficult to finish this book was because um for me personally um i found it too heavy because there was lot of biological and medical jargons so after a point of time it was um difficult to keep up with all the information um so yeah that was my major problem with this book and that is why it took me a while to finish it uh now coming to the premise of the book uh the author julia she basically explains the journey of the food right from the moment we put it into our mouth till the time we pass the stool so uh you know whatever happens in the entire process is something that she has spoken about in the book and she says you know that our gut is the most ignored organ you know we we don't talk about it we don't bother uh, about knowing you know how important it is because like i said your gut is linked to your overall health and your mental well-being as well yet after being so important you know such an important organ we hardly know about it and after reading the book i think i truly agree with the author and i'm shocked that um, how less or how little we know about this very important organ of ours uh, gut Uh, and further you know the author very interestingly she points out that how uh, the communication between the gut um, and the brain has become a very you know like a hot topic for scientists to research on like after the research on stem cells this is like a topic which has caught the interest of many scientists and they really want to understand how our gut communicates with our brain you know which ultimately affects um, our body and our mood etc further the author has tried and answers a lot of questions that you know some of them are uh, really interesting to read about like um, uh, why are people lactose um, or you know gluten intolerant what are food allergies and what is the relationship of gut with obesity and mood uh, why do we fall like or why do we feel sleepy after having a heavy meal um and uh, things like things like um, you know why do we vomit and what factors contribute to constipation you know which so many people suffer from like even when we travel or you know there's a change of water people suffer from constipation what why that happens and how can you help it so all these um you know questions uh, the author has answered she also t- speaks about bacteria so there is good bacteria and bad bacteria good bacteria is something which helps your gut so you i'm sure you guys would be knowing about probiotics and prebiotics probiotics are something which is like uh, the good bacteria for your gut and this comes from your yogurt lassi buttermilk etc then we have uh, prebiotics which is kind of a food for your good bacteria because they also need food to uh, you know do their functioning so this is derived from things like garlic um green bananas and wait i've made a note so i don't forget oats and artichoke and things like that this is something where you derive your prebiotics from now um like i said the book is interesting in bits and parts like i was brisking the second half of the book but i made point of some important takeaways some interesting facts you know which was like wow this is great which i'm going to read it out 
the first one is 95% of our body serotonin is produced in our gut so this is one of the hormone that makes you feel happy and nice and 95% of it is produced in your gut so imagine if your gut is not healthy and it's not um, you're not taking care of it then it can really affect your mood you know so the author says that every time you know um, it's wrong to blame your brain when you're uh, depressed or you have anxiety or feeling bad it can also do a lot with your gut um, the next thing is our gut bacteria have 150 times more genes than a human being so wow okay this is very surprising saliva produces a painkiller called opiophin stronger than morphine and only discovered in 2006 can you believe that our saliva produces a painkiller the next uh, fact was the surface area of our digestive system is about 100 times greater than the area of our skin imagine that Studies have shown that our gut bacteria have the ability to influence cravings in our brain for particular food. So this is something that the author has spoken in the, in the chapter where she talks about how gut affects the obesity and it can really make you crave for certain foods. The next fact is the total mass of bacteria in our body equals roughly 2.2 kilos. That's the total mass of the bacteria in your body, 2.2 kilos. The last one is, you know, we all hear these grumbling noises in our stomach, you know, or of, uh, you know, our friends or partner, you might hear sometimes and you like, oh, this is because the person is hungry. So, you know, the stomach is like begging for food. But no, my friend, that's not what the reason is. It's actually your small intestine doing up the cleanup job after processing your previous bout of the mill. So it's the, the sound is made by your small intestine, which is kind of digesting your previous uh, meal to make space for the new meal uh, so that is why you hear that grumbling noise so yeah that's all on this book um i i went through a few uh, reviews online and it said you know how it's fun and engaging and you know written in layman's language sadly i i didn't feel the same i don't share the same sentiment like i say you know every book um, feels different to every reader uh, so personally for me the book fell flat I didn't quite enjoy it it didn't engage me some sentences bits and parts were interesting to read about but other than that um, yeah it was no for me that's all on this book on gut but I'm gonna do my personal reading on gut because I'm really um, curious and uh, um, you know to know about this really important organ which I feel is um, you know linked to so many uh, parts of our body and it's really important that we look after it so yeah that's all on this book I'm gonna see you guys next week with another title till then take care bye bye and please keep reading the author has pointed out in this book that how the communication between the gut and the brain is you know the most rapidly growing area of medical research after stem cells so your gut actually not only affects your body but also your mind it can really affect your mood so the author says that 